how do you handle being often the only black face or person in a room uh, dealing with these things? Because trailblazers, uh, there must be some pressure on you. Uh, well, there have been others ahead of me, not necessarily my industry, but I'm sure I was not doing that. But I mean, in, 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 in put this way, I have always said that I will let, in all circumstances that I find myself in, I'll let the fact of my blackness be your problem. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'll let it be your burden. So as far as I'm concerned, when I get into a situation, I would like to to perform in a manner and to a standard that would 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 be so compelling that you yourself, if you have to decide as to what kind of judgment you have to make of me, you go past my color. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do. Yeah, because otherwise you become a prisoner to that. You know, I, I would work be oblivious to the fact that I'm black. Let the fact that I'm black be your problem. And that's when I was coming up in the system in Obuasi, yeah, working. I said to myself that, in fact, it was my father who saw the seed. I said to myself, my father famously said, listen, this is a white man's business, okay? When the white people are asleep, you have to be going to work again. Mm -hmm. In other words, you, you come and brilliantly put it that when the developed countries were sleeping, we should be running, okay? So I, I decided that, listen, the way I would get noticed was that if you have to produce one ton of rock, and that is your, what your, uh, what's expected of your target for the day, mm -hmm. I would make sure me and my team we will produce one and a half. So that when it comes to you as a white man, what they were, they were the managers were white, to determine who gets promoted between me and a white guy who has produced one ton and I produce one and a half. Come and tell me that you because, you know, I wonder if, because if you think that it's because I'm black, okay, fine, you have to deal with your conscience that a guy produced one and half, the other guy produced one, but I'm not going to give it to him because he's black. That doesn't work. It the doesn't numbers should speak for themselves. Yeah, it doesn't work. Mm. Yeah. And, and the important lesson also is that don't take crap. Excuse my French. I mean, don't take the, if, if you feel that you are not being equitably treated, if you feel that you, justice is not being meted out, we all too often do tend to take this in our stride. Oh, then there's some can be dear and then tell me why I said, no, no, no. It's almost a Ghanaian way. No, 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 no. I will confront you. I'll say, this is my friend. The target is one ton. I produce one and a half. Why are you giving this your burden? Can you explain to me? And there will be several times when it's happened, let me back off. No, because they have no rational, logical, sensible reason for discriminating against you other than you are black and i will not give you that pleasure are you still like that um, yes. now when somebody wants to give you crap you push back yeah yeah yes yes i don't take i mean i'm a minor as i said it's like a being so i don't take nonsense i don't suffer fools i i stand my ground <laughs> what's the latest nonsense that somebody tried to run by you i don't remember <laughs> comes every hour <laughs> well, 